Good morning. Happy Thursday. Welcome to whatever class this is. Um, total body strength. I almost said functional fitness Friday. It's not Friday, so I'm sorry about that. Um, today we're going to be doing a strength workout. We're going to work on our um, our pulling movement, so upper body and lower body pulling, so lots of back, um, glutes, and hamstrings coming up today. Uh, we do need one set of dumbbells. If we have two, I definitely recommend two um, because we are going to want a lighter set for one of our upper body exercises today. Um, but if you only have one set, you can always do it body weight or work up towards that heavier weight. So we're going to do three rounds. We're going to do 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest slash transition time. I'm going to go through our demos real quick, and then we're going to get right into it. So starting off, we're going to do bent over rows. So we're going to have our dumbbells in each hand. We're going to have our feet hip width apart. We're going to push the hips back like we're closing that door. And then we're going to drive those elbows up, bringing our hands outside of the legs towards the butt. So we're going to feel that right here in our back. So that's our first movement. And then our second movement, we're going to do some reverse flies. Um, so this, if you, again, lighter dumbbells for this one, if you don't have dumbbells, all good. You can do this one body weight. Sorry, if you don't have a lighter dumbbells, we're going to be in the same position here. Hands are out in front. We're going to drive those pinkies up towards the ceiling and back down. So it's actually very similar to a bent over T, but now that we have weights, I call them reverse flies, but we can call them bent over T's. So we're here coming up driving those pinkies towards the ceiling. So we're gonna feel that one in the back of the shoulders there. So those first two are great for posture. And then we're gonna go ahead and this next one, we're switching to lower body. So for this one, if you'd like, you can do a body weight um, and then work up to holding your dumbbells. We're gonna do alternating reverse lunges. We're gonna pause for three seconds at the bottom. So we're gonna take one foot, stepping back. We're gonna pause one, two, three driving through that front foot, heel, big toe, little toe. So into the other side, coming down, one, two, three, driving through, standing back up. So that's gonna be our first lower body movement. Now we're gonna do some Romanian deadlifts here. So feet hip width apart, butt to belly button, keep that core tight. And then we're gonna, gum, we're gonna go down nice and slow and then we're gonna come up nice and slow. So we're gonna come down one, two, three. We're going to pause for a second here and then coming back up one, two, three. So our tempo is three, one, three. So three seconds down, pause for a second, three seconds back up. So that's going to be our second lower body movement. And then we're going to get on the ground on our backs. We're going to do our core work. So first up, we're going to do our glute bridge marches. So this one is going to be more of the core, um, like the, our pillars or so hips and our torso. So we're tucking the pelvis, we're keeping that core engaged, we're driving through the heels. So our glutes are engaged, one knee at a time coming up, like we are marching. So we're going to do those. And then we're going to end with some dead bugs. I feel like it's been a little bit since we've done dead bugs. So for this, you can do the core assist if you'd like to have those dumbbells here, or you can have no dumbbells and move those arms, whatever feels good. We're going to come out, exhale, bring those knees back in. So we're focusing on using the core and not the legs to pull back in. That is going to be our whole circuit for today. So we're going to go ahead and get started with our warm up, and we're going to start off with the world's greatest stretch today. So we're gonna make our way to the top of our space and we're gonna interlace our fingers. We're gonna grab onto the right knee. We're gonna pull that knee towards the chest. We're gonna do a nice big deep breath. And we're gonna exhale, step back into our reverse lunge. Hands coming down on the inside of our front foot. We're gonna keep that back leg nice and straight. Opening up those hips, we're gonna do a nice deep breath. And we're gonna exhale, opening up towards our front leg. We're gazing past our thumb. We actually do wanna keep our thumb, we wanna point it towards that wall. So as we're looking at our hand, we're looking at our palm. It's gonna help us open up our back a little bit more. We're gonna do a deep breath. And we're gonna exhale, plant the hand outside of our front foot, bring that back leg a little closer and push those hips up into our hamstring stretch. Breathe into that tightness. 
And on our next exhale, we can go ahead and bring our feet together, push the ground away, and stand on up. Wonderful. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to interlace those fingers, grab onto the left knee, pull the left knee towards the chest. Nice, big, deep breath. And we're going to exhale, step back, reverse lunge. We're going to bring our hands inside of that front foot. Back leg stays straight. We're opening up those hips. We're breathing into the belly. And we're going to exhale, opening up towards that front foot. So again, palm is facing us as we're looking up. So my thumb is pointed towards the camera right now. Nice, big, deep breath. And we're gonna exhale, plant the hand outside of our front foot. Bring that back leg a little bit closer, pushing those hips up into our hamstring stretch. <clears throat> nice, big deep breath. And we're gonna exhale, bring your feet together, push the ground away and stand on up. Awesome. All right, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little bit of plank to pike, opening up our shoulders and our back and our calves a little bit more. So we're gonna make our way onto the ground on our hands and toes into our plank position here. And we're gonna keep that core engaged. We're gonna exhale, push those hips up towards the ceiling. We can push that head in between our arms to really open up the upper back. And we can pedal our heels a little bit, alternating driving one heel at a time, opening up those calves. And coming back down to plank. We're going to do that two more times. Coming up. Breathing into the tight areas. Really feeling that chest and back open up. Coming back down to plank. And we're going to push ourselves up one more time. And from here, we're going to go ahead and walk our hands towards our feet. Take a second here. And then we're going to go ahead and stand on up. We are ready to rock and roll. So 45 seconds of work, three rounds coming up. We're grabbing our dumbbells. We're doing our bent over rows first. So I'm going to start the timer here. Three, two, one, and go. So we got our dumbbells. Our feet are hip width apart, butt to our belly button. We also want to act like we're squeezing that orange in between our shoulder blades. We want to exhale as we drive up. Really push, use that breath, squeeze in those armpits. Keep pushing. This is great for our posture, which I know. I don't have very good posture either. So this really helps build that strength for the back. Three, two, one. Awesome, all right. So we can either grab our lighter dumbbells next or we can do a body weight, whatever feels good today. Three, two, one. So we have the same positioning, same checklist here, but now we're bringing our arms out to the side. So if we act like we have a plane of glass sitting across our back, we want to break that glass with the elbows, pinkies are up. So this again, this one is also really good for posture because I know even for me, I'm either like this or we're bending forward. When our chest rounds forward, it can weaken our back muscles. So we're strengthening this area to help open up that chest a little bit more hopefully make that a little bit stronger so that way when we're sitting at the computer, we're a little bit more upright. Three, two, one. Awesome, all right. Next up we have reverse lunges. Pausing for three seconds at the bottom. We're getting ready. Three, two, one. So stepping back. Our front knee is going right over the second toe, chest over the arch of the front foot, driving through that front heel. The front foot heel is where we wanna really drive through. So we feel it in those glutes. Once to count nice and slow, it's not a one, two, three, come back up. 
We're stepping back. One, two, three. Pushing the ground away. I know these are tough, but it really helps to work on, um, you know, switching up the tempo will help get stronger, kind of recruit some more muscle fibers for that strength. Three, two, one. All right, next up we have our three, one, three Romanian deadlifts. Three seconds down, one second pause at the bottom, three seconds up, three, two, one. So same positioning as our bent over rows, as well as our bent over T's. Coming down nice and slow, driving those heels through the ground. We really want to push that door closed with our butt. As soon as our hips are done moving, the movement is over. So if we are bringing those dumbbells all the way to the ground, don't want to see that. We want to really go until our hips are done and then push the ground away. That was way too fast, my bad. Coming down one, two, three, and one, two, three. I should have done three, two, one, because we're done. Take a rest. We're getting on the ground, on our backs. We got glute bridge marches first, and then we're gonna do dead bugs. Three, two, one. So before we even push those hips up, we wanna breathe through that straw, bring our core together, feet are hip width apart, and then we're driving up with the hips. So if we exhale, as we drive each knee up, it's gonna help us make sure we're focused on the core and pulling the knee up with the core. So it's gonna be the same thing for the dead bugs, but this is really great to work on our glute strength and our torso strength. So our low back and our core. So this is great. We do have low back tension. We're strengthening three, two, one. All right, stay in this position. We're getting ready for dead bugs. So again, you can either do arm and leg, or you can do the core assist, whatever feels good for you today. Three, two, one. So just like with our marches, we're exhaling through that straw. Exhale as the knee comes back in. This one again is working on our strength of our core and our torso. So our torso is part of that pillar. And the better off we are with torso strength, the easier it's gonna make really all of our movements inside and outside of the gym slash class. So that's where I like to incorporate those things because it does make life easier. And I like to incorporate movements that are translatable to real life because it makes it a little bit easier to do. Three, two, one. And by that, I mean mentally a little bit easier to push through. All right, round one is done. Doing awesome today. We're getting ready for our bent over rows. Three, two, one. So squeeze that orange, push the hips back. I also like to imagine for this, if we have a piece of paper in between our arm and our body, don't let that paper fall. So we're keeping that paper nice and tight. You should feel that activating your lat muscle, which is that muscle. It goes all the way down the side of your back. So this is really great to help strengthen that because again, it will help with posture, but that's one of the largest muscles in the body. So we want that to be nice and strong. Again, helping with posture, with tension, all of that. Exhaling as we drive up three, two, one. All right. Really key there too, to bring the hands towards the butt so we can get it more here versus up here. All right. We got bent over T's. So we got our lighter dumbbells or no dumbbells. Three, two, one. I'm actually going to do no dumbbells because that was not feeling so good for me today. So listen to your bodies, friends. Something's just not feeling right for me. I know this area can get a little 
tight for me. And sometimes doing this with dumbbells aggravates it more. So really just pay attention to how your body feels. There's, it's always good to listen. So that way we're not pushing through and maybe aggravating old injuries or creating new injuries. We really just want to feel this one in the backs of the shoulder. We're also working on our torso strength here too. Three, two, one. So actually doing bent over movements like that is great to help strengthen our low back. All right, we got reverse lunges. Three second pause. May or may not be uh, dreading this. Three, two, one. Sometimes I write things in. I always create my classes the day before. So I was probably feeling pretty good yesterday. Body's not feeling so hot today. So it's a little bit of a push here, but we're doing great. So if you're feeling it like I am too, we got this. We're pushing through. We're getting better today. My motto, we get 1% better every single day. So that way at the end of the year, we are 365% better than when we started in January. And that's the goal. Continuous improvement in all areas. So sometimes two, three, two, one. You know, if this is the hardest part of your day, you're going to have a great day. So next up, we have 313 Romanian deadlifts. Three, two, one. So butt to belly button, lock that core in, push the hips back, push the ground away. So nice and slow. One, two, three. One, two, three. Being mindful of where we are feeling this. If we're starting to feel it in our low back, we really want to, one, keep that core zipped up, breathe through that straw every time. The other thing is we might be bringing the dumbbells down too far. So if you go to here and you're like, wow, I feel that in my back, then stop a little bit higher up, shorten that range of motion, three, two, one. All about listening to your body today, y'all. All right, well, and every day. Glute bridge marches, we're making our way to the ground. We are getting ready. Three, two, one. So breathe through that straw, zip that core up, hips to the ceiling. We also want to focus on our headlights on our hips or blinding the ceiling. So blind that ceiling, drive the knee up. And then as like the left knee comes up, that right glute is engaged. So drive that right heel in the ground. And then opposite side, when the right knee comes up, left heel is driving into the ground. Awesome job. I know these can be tough, but we're doing great. Really focusing too, we wanna make sure our foot placement is right underneath the knee. Three, two, one. Uh, so we got dead bugs next, but what I mean by that last comment is if our feet are too far away, we're going to feel that in the hamstrings. If they're too close, we're going to feel it in the quads. We got to find the goalie lock so we get the glute engagement. But we got dead bugs here. Three, two, one. Breathe through that straw. Zipping the core up. Focus on the breath. Moving nice and slow. There's no need to rush this. 45 seconds it is 45 seconds, no matter how fast or slow you go. I would prefer all of us move slow and controlled so we really feel our core muscles doing their thing. Strengthening our torso here. Three, two, one. All right. Last round coming on up. We got our bent over row first and then our T's and then we're to the lower body. Three, two, one. So this is our last round, best round. We're a little tired and that's okay, but we're pushing through. We're finishing strong. 
sometimes when we're tired, that's really when it matters most. We're slow and controlled. We're feeling each rep. Keeping those hands outside of our legs. Hands towards the butt. We're gonna have such good posture today. I feel it. And tomorrow, we're just gonna be so strong after today. Three, two, one. All right, we are done with those for today. We're getting ready, we got bent over tees. So either dumbbells or no dumbbells. Again, working on that posture. Three, two, one. So arms coming straight out. If you notice too that my hands are slightly behind my shoulders, I'm not coming straight out. If you keep it like not here, but here, that's really gonna target this whole area. So that's the goal. Working again on that posture today, strengthening our whole entire backside from our head to our calves here today. Great job. I know round three it can be tough. We're doing great. We're pushing through. We're finishing this workout strong. Three, two, one. We are done with upper body. Give yourself Pat on the back. We did that, but we got two lower body, two core movements. And then we're going to get into that cool down. Three, two, one. So reverse lunges, pausing. One, two, three. One, two, three. Cool. Round three. These are tough. These are tough. I feel it too. Like I said, we gotta listen to our bodies. Maybe this is where we do really wanna finish strong. I want us to keep those weights that we've been using. Gotta push through. We're getting better today. This definitely, when we do hard things like this, especially first thing in the morning, it builds that mental fortitude. We're pushing through, we're being strong today. We're starting off on a good foot. Three, two, one. All right, RDLs, and then we're on the ground for the rest of the workout. We don't have to get back up until we're done, done. So doing our RDLs here, three, two, one. Butt to belly button, lock that core in. Focus on really push those hips back. We got our hands full of groceries. Push your car door closed, we're like, mm. push it closed. One nice and slow controlled, driving through those heels, breathing through the movement. I love RDLs, but at the end of a workout like this, it can be a little tough. So we're pushing through. Really push. Three, two, one. All right, we are done with those today. So let's go ahead and make our way to the ground. We're gonna be on our backs the rest of the workout. We got glute bridge marches, then our dead bugs. Three, two, one. So feet, feet hip width apart. We got this. This one is not an easy movement by all means, but it is one of my favorites for the core because we are really working on that pillar which are pillars, shoulders, hips, and torso. So we're really getting our torso strong through the front and through the back, which can be really beneficial because a lot of times like tightness in our body sometimes is from weakness. So we are strengthening, working on our single leg strength, we're working on our core strength, our low back strength, our glute strength, all of that is all getting worked here. Three, two, one, all right. We got dead bugs, and then we're done. We're just gonna cool down, calm the, mo the, body. the mind and the body down. Three, two, one. I think that's how you can tell that I haven't eaten yet is <laughs> when my words all become one. <laughs> we're finishing strong with these though. 
This is my other favorite core movement, which I'm sure we all know by now because we do dead bugs, whoops, a lot. Um, the core assist really does help us have to balance out the weight and use that core a little bit more. So if you're really feeling it in your hips, sometimes grabbing that weight can help us. Focus, use the core, finish strong. Three, two, one, and that is gonna be it for today's circuit. So if you need to, feel free, grab a sip of water. And like I said, we are gonna be on our backs for our cool down. Um, which I'm going to now switch to our side. So we're going to do some bretzel to cool down, get some rotation in. We did a lot of back work today. So I think that rotation is really going to help us out here. So we're making our way onto our side. Our top leg is going to come up over and across our body. Knee and ankle stay on the ground. Top, sorry, bottom hand on top of the knee. And with our top hand, we're going to grab onto the bottom foot or ankle. There it is. We're going to inhale to prepare. And we're exhaling, bringing that top shoulder toward the ground. And we're going to breathe into the nose, into the belly. Exhale, sideways attention. Let that body relax into the stretch. Let those exhales be longer than the inhales. Calm the body down. Bring that heart rate down after that workout. Bring our body away from our fight or flight into our rest and digest. We're going to do one more breath here. And as we finish the exhale, when we're ready, we can gently release that bottom leg and we can make our way over onto our other side. Back is tight today. All right, so we're on our other side. Same checklist, top leg up over and across, bottom hand on top of the knee, top hand grabs onto bottom for our ankle. We're going to inhale to prepare, and we're going to exhale, opening up towards the ceiling. Same thing. Let the body relax with each exhale. Calm the body down. Go ahead and do one more breath here. And as we are ready, when we finish that exhale, gently release our bottom foot. And when we're ready, go ahead and you can stay laying on the ground if you'd like. Or you can return to seated kneeling or standing, but that is going to be all the time for today's class. So thank you for joining me. Um, definitely keep breathing like that. It's going to help us through times of stress when we can make our exhales longer than our inhales. So definitely practice that. If you feel any stress or anxiety throughout the day, it could definitely be really helpful to do that. Um, but thank you for joining me and I'll see you 